Welcome to Nugget 322 with Stephen Dana Groman, and we have been doing How We Should Walk in Power series. Nugget 312, Got Fix, Mark 11, and also Nugget 313 was in Mark 11, Move Mountains. Nugget 314, The Spirit of God in You. Nugget 315, I Will Never Leave You. Nugget 316, Exceeding Abundantly. Nugget 317, Take Care of the Bodies. Nugget 318, We Have Jesus Power. In Nugget 319, Silver and Gold, Have I None. Nugget 320, You Move Your Mountain. And in the last nugget, Nugget 321, by his stripes. We are moving on to Luke 8, 26 through 39. It says here, Jesus heals a man with a demon, when in actuality, as you read the text, you'll find that he was filled with many demons. And that's the topic of our conversation in this nugget, is getting rid of demons. That's a rough topic, isn't it? That's a rough topic, but it's relevant for today. Yeah, and it's real. I know that you have dealt with this on many occasions. occasions. I would think that most Christians don't. 99% do not delve into this section of power, but you have. But they should. We have that ability. You have that ability. And it would probably really help a lot of people out if we would become accustomed with and having and knowing who we are in Christ to be able to do such things. Without fear. We are going to focus on Luke eight twenty nine through 30. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For oftentimes it had caught him, and he was kept bound with chains and in fetters. And he break the bands, and was driven of the devil into the wilderness. And Jesus asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. Luke eight thirty one through 32 And they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the deep. And there was there an herd of many swine feeding on the mountain. And they besought him that he would suffer them to enter into to them, and he suffered them. Luke 8, 33. Then went the devils out of the man and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the lake and were choked. Okay, what we want to focus on is Jesus, of course, is God, and he casts out these demons, but notice here he spoke directly to the demons. He asked what their name was, and he commanded them, told them where to go. This is important because they have to do what they're told to do, and people think, well, that was Jesus. He's God. Of course, that's the way it is. But if you recall, to them that believe, cast out demons in his name. We're supposed to do that. So let's keep looking. Well, we find another example in Acts 8, 6 through 7. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies, and that were lame, were healed. It's not Jesus here. It's Philip is casting out these unclean spirits, it calls them. And this is in the book of Acts, the Acts of the Apostles. In Acts 16, 16, we find, And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel, possessed with a spirit of divination, met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. Dropping down to 18, And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, I command thee, in the name of Jesus Christ, to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Yes, and here we have examples of just ordinary people, just like you and I. Of course, these are apostles, disciples, but we are supposed to be disciples also. But notice again, speaking to the Spirit and telling them, in the name of Jesus Christ, leave. And that's exactly the way it's supposed to be. It's not our power. It is the name of Jesus. It's his power, but he wants us to do his work because he's no longer here. And so it's our job to do it. The Bible's very clear. It's for everybody, everybody to be able to do this and we should. But most people are timid. They're scared. They don't know. But we need to step up and do our job. I remember a story of a friend of mine. She was in a church service, and there was a person that was obviously demon-possessed in the service. Nobody knew what to do. Right. The person that was in charge of the service just grabbed a Bible and was busy flailing through it to find a verse to know how to deal with it. It perplexed her, and it also made her realize that we're just not prepared for such things. Exactly. And I know we've been in a couple of 
services that there's been some uh, sketchy situations where it appeared that there was someone that was possessed and they came and got you. Yes, and the thing of it is, it seems like a scary thing to people and therefore they don't want to get involved with it. But we need to realize who we are in Christ and in the name of Jesus, they have no choice but to do what they're told to do. It's really not as scary as people think it is. They just need to do it. We need to exert the authority given exactly. to us, the That's power exactly right. that worketh in us. All right. Well, thank you.